Jaleel Billingsley is headed to Texas. We got to talk about what it means. <laughs> It's Felix Sharp for CampusToCanton.com. You can find me on Twitter at Sharp Review. Jalil Billingsley, the Alabama tight end, is headed to Texas. Texas is absolutely loading up. You think about what they added in Quinn Ewers. They got Malik Murphy coming in. Don't sleep on Malik Murphy. Hudson Card is still there after Casey Thompson is transferred. And then you let's look at the skill position, the other skill position players. Xavier Worthy, Troy O'Meara, one of my favorites. Jatavian Sanders, a five-star athlete who is playing tight end at Texas. Add that to Jaleel Billingsley, uh, B. John Robinson, and of course, Jadon Blue, the freshman who is coming in there at Texas. You look at what Texas did last year. Uh, with Steve Sarkeesian at the helm. Cade Brewer was the leading receiver amongst tight ends. Uh, 22 catches for 184 yards. We got to kind of look back if we want to see uh, Steve Sarkeesian using the tight end position um, productively. Think about in 27, the, the 2016 National Championship in the 2017, January 2017, Irv Smith Jr. was the tight end on that team after Steve Sarkeesian took over for Lane Kiffin, who took the FIU job. But there's not a whole lot of great production for the tight ends uh, under Steve Sarkeesian. You really got to go back to 2017-2018, where he was the offensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons. And Austin Hooper, he had some very good production there. Uh, 71 for 660 in one season and 49 for 526 in another under Steve Sarkeesian. Texas, I don't think that offense was the problem for them. The problem for Texas was the offensive line. You're talking about the 73rd ranked uh, pass blocking offensive line according to PFF. That's just below Duke and ahead of uh, Arkansas State. So that's the caliber of offensive line that Texas was putting out there. They've got a lot of weapons. Steve Sarkeesian has been known, especially from his time of Alabama, from putting points on the board. That's not going to be a problem here when you talk about Troy O'Meara, when you talk about Xavier Worthy, the deep threat, when you talk about Jatavian Sanders. I haven't even said B. John Robinson can... B. John Robinson, who can do just about everything. The issue with Steve Sarkeesian is going to be, and the Texas Longhorns is going to be, whether they can protect Quinn Ewers or whomever is going to be the starting quarterback for Texas. That's another conversation. I know a lot of people have Quinn Ewers that uh, they think that he's going to be the starter, but he hasn't played football since 2020, uh, his junior season, which was injury shortened. So we're going to see there. Let me know in the comments, what do you think Texas's outlook is going to be for the season? You can find me at Sharp Review on Twitter.